economic insecurity, poverty, lack of money, fear of your future reduces your mental bandwidth. You know, mm -hmm. studies upon study upon study has shown this. You are not, you know, largely able to look to the future because you don't know what's happening tomorrow. So when we're asking people to respond to huge technological change, when we're asking people to make changes to their, their lives and expectations because we face an existential crisis of the climate emergency, when we're asking changes around migration and everything else, but we don't give people the security and the time to make those changes, then yeah. it, you no know, wonder that people resist. And yet what we do is we you know, tar them as bags of deplorables and, and blame <laughs> them for what's going on. So that's where I, I see a real concern. Yeah. Um, because you also get the flip side of there's a short term political game. You know, Trump did it in, in 2016. You say, yeah. I'll bring coal back to people who have no jobs. They knew he wasn't going to bring coal back. He knew certainly he wasn't going to bring coal back. But at least yeah. someone was saying, I recognize you've lost something here. And I think that's where there's, you know, the kind of the dangers of populism. I know you've, you've explored some of this in your, your previous sessions, I think is a real risk of when people feel they've got no space, no security and nothing to lose. Yeah. That's a very dangerous combination. And I think a basic income doesn't solve all that by any stretch of the imagination, but could give a foundational security to allow us to, to hear some of those losses and, and genuine pain that we should be listening to.